In this Lesson 3A optional video, I show you how to install the second Windows Server 2016 Data Center Edition into Hyper-V to be used as our second domain controller. Since some folks that will be watching these videos are very detailed oriented, this is an optional video installing the second Windows Server 2016 Data Center Edition that we'll use as a additional domain controller. So as you can see, I've already created one machine. I'm not going to walk through this in detail. You can watch the previous video for that. But I'm going to go through and create a second uh, Windows Server 2012 machine. I'm going to call this virtual machine MIIM SVRDC. 0002 because it is my second server and I am going to use Win 2016 Data Center Edition to do that. So I'll go ahead and choose Next. It, it will be a Generation 2 machine. I'll choose Next. I am going to give it uh, 2 gigs actually of RAM and I am going to dedicate those 2 gigs statically to this virtual machine. I'll choose Next. I am going to connect it out right now to the virtual uh, external switch so that I can update this machine through the host network interface card. I'll do 60 gigs on this machine too and say next. I am going to install the operating system. So I'll make sure I'm browsing out to my ISO image, which I am of 2016 data center. That's uh, already configured from the last virtual machine that I installed. I'll choose next. I'll make sure all the information is right, check the computer name, the memory, etc., and choose Finish. Now, as the machine, uh, as you can notice, it's off. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and quickly click in and choose any key, press any key to get the installation started. And again, I'm not going to walk you through this whole installation. Uh, with as much detail as I did before. So I'm going to just quickly choose install and I'll go ahead and pause while it continues its install. So that was pretty quick. I'll go ahead and put in my legal license key here and pause while I do that and get to the next menu. All right, and again, because this is a lab environment, a learning environment, I'm going to make it simple with the desktop experience. We will be throughout this series creating a server core instance as well that we could manage through one of the servers with GUI interface if we wanted to. Um, I'll choose the license agreement and next. I'm going to choose custom install. There's the virtual disk that I created. I want to install on that 60 gig dynamic virtual disk, which means, by the way, it's not going to be 60 gigs of space on your computer. It's going to dynamically grow as it needs to. Now, from a performance standpoint, that's not necessarily the best way to go with production machines, you may want to dedicate that space so it has the ability to quickly write to additional space that's been allocated for the virtual disk. Entirely up to you. I'll go ahead and pause while it continues through to the next screen. All right, so it's finished the install and configuration. It's going to go ahead and restart the machine. I will pause while it does that. So again, it's going to want me to give it a nice password, so I'll do that. And choose finish. And I will finalize the settings, bring up the machine. I'll go ahead and send it the control alt delete. I'll log into the machine for the first time. It'll take a few minutes to configure, so I'll go ahead and pause again. I will choose to attach it currently to my existing network so that I can get all the updates installed. And as soon as Server Manager comes up, we'll change the computer name. So Server Manager is up. I'll go into the local server settings. There's that funky computer name that it's given. I'll go ahead and click on that. I can give it a description. and change the name.
say OK. It'll ask for a modified NetBIOS, which is fine, and restart the machine. All right, so now we have our second domain controller once this restarts, and we'll be in good shape.